today we're here in Woods Hole and I'm going to be showing you how to collect a water sample for total alkalinity for Shell Day 2019. So the first thing I'm going to do when we get to our field site is measure the temperature and salinity of our water body. I'm using a multi-parameter data sonde, so I'm going to be collecting temperature and salinity out of the water body itself. Okay, it's really important to make sure we note the time that we collected that measurement. Uh, so I'm gonna write that down on our data sheet. We're gonna be using the bucket sampling protocol today. There are other methods you can use for your water sampling protocol, and that information can be found on the Shell Day website. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is rinse our bucket. We want to make sure we avoid cross-contamination between samples. So we're gonna take our bucket and fill it roughly a quarter of the way. We're gonna mix our water around, swirl to rinse the bucket, and then dump that water downstream of where we're collecting our sample. Once your bucket is rinsed, we're going to fill the bucket and that will be your water sample for Shell Day. If you're using another method for measuring temperature and salinity, you should collect that temperature and salinity measurement from the bucket now. To collect our water sample, we're gonna take our pre-labeled bottle and we're going to rinse this bottle three times. We're gonna put it into the bucket with the lid on, open the lid underwater, let that bottle fill. We're gonna dump out about half, half of that water, put the cap back on, shake your bottle to rinse, and dump that rinse water out. We're gonna repeat those rinses two more times for a total of three times. Okay, now we're gonna fill the bottle for our water sample for total alkalinity. So again, it's gonna be the same as if we were rinsing. We're gonna leave the cap on, put the bottle into the bucket, open the cap, let the bottle fill and dump a small amount of water out to allow for headspace for thermal expansion of your sample. Then we're gonna take our water sample and put it immediately on ice in a cooler. And if you were collecting samples at low tide or high tide, which would have duplicate samples, you would collect that duplicate sample out of the same bucket that you've already collected your first sample out of. Then we're going to fill out the rest of our data sheet with our temperature and salinity information and our bottle number. The sample will be stored overnight in the dark in your cooler and transported on August 23rd to the participating lab open house uh, for dropping that sample off. Thank you for participating in Shell Day 2019.